top of the Sports Max Zone for this Wednesday. We are back to talk some track and field as uh, that's where we start today. Reigning double Olympic sprint champion Elaine thompson Hira is the howling favourite to be named Laurea Sportswoman of the Year. A first for a Caribbean woman it would be. Established in 2000, the Laureus Awards are held annually to honour the outstanding achievements of men and women in sport. Thompson Hira, who was previously nominated in 2017, is the reigning Sportswoman of the Year in Jamaica and was recently crowned World Athletics Sportswoman of the Year. Her rival and fellow Jamaican Shelly Ann Fraser Price has been nominated for the honor five times. So, what are Thompson Hira's chances of getting an honor that has so far eluded women from the Caribbean? To help us answer this question is our resident track and field expert, Leighton Levy. Leighton, welcome to the Sports Mac Zone. We know the big man, Hussein Bolt, has won this one four or five times on the men's side. But no woman has ever won it before. Will Tom Sahira be the first? Well, as you mentioned before, Lance, um, you know, Shelley has been nominated five times. But in all of those instances, she was um, upended by Serena Williams and other female athletes who were outstanding in their respective fields uh, in those respective years. Of course, I thought she would have won in 20, uh, 2014 when she won the 2013 um, triple at the, the World Championships in Moscow. But that was not to be. However... I think if as a Jamaican woman is to win this award, it could very well be this year. And primarily because Elaine Thompson created history on so many levels last year. And what she's up against is uh, a couple of Olympic swimmers. And of course, Emma McEwen, who has won four gold medals in Tokyo, two really gold medals, two individual medals. And of course, um, Alison Felix, who you know won an additional medal. Katie Ledecky, of course, two other medals at the Olympic Games. But there is nobody there that I think had a more outstanding year than Elaine Thompson, creating history and winning the, the sprint double at the Olympic Games uh, in consecutive Olympic Games, never been done before. 10.54 makes her the fastest woman alive. She wins the Diamond League, first woman under 10.74 four times for a season. Um, NACAC champion, I mean, NACAC female athlete of the year, world athletes, female, uh, female athlete of the year, and so many different awards and, of course, accomplishments on the year. I, I would be very much surprised if she does not win this year, the, the Laureus Award this year. Uh, Leighton, I, I, I'm certain. Well, did you get a chance to vote on the awards this year? No. <laughs> well, well, well I, I can tell you that I voted. And, uh, well, it's no secret to whom my vote went for. I had her top of the pile. And a couple of the names that I put in my top, I think it was top five, not on that shortest, but the others were on the shortest. But if we look at the list again, and if my producer gives me the list again, Leighton, I think an easier thing for us to do is to try to strike out some of those who are around her in the field. Ash Barty, I think she's, she, she, she's good right there. I think Alisa but, Felix has had way better seasons than she just had, which would have yeah. caused her to matriculate for this award. But we know that there are some special considerations about what, around what Alyssa Felix achieved and her age and the fact that she was coming back from child's birth and everything else. Mm -hmm. which the, the, so the, the sort of feel good around Alyssa Felix, I believe, is what put her on this list. Mm -hmm. but, I agree. Yeah. Uh, of course, Alyssa Felix had you know, more most Olympic medals than any other athlete yes. in history when she, she won bronze in the 400 and, of course, in the relay at, in Tokyo. But I don't think that's enough to put her over the top, George. I think... I think she was recognized for the accomplishment, which is why she's on this list. But I don't think she has the, 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 the resume last year does not put her above. In fact, it puts her way down on this list for me. Because Kelly Ledecky won two Olympic gold no, hold, on, Le hold on, I'm doing them one by one, man. Don't All raise right, the thing. Good. Right. So, 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 so you've said the perfect thing about, about Alisa Felix. That's what, that's what I wanted to do. So for the benefit of the viewers, we're taking them one one. So good. Hold the Katie Ledecky. We're coming to her. So Alexia Puteas. We, under, we, we accept that she was brilliant in helping Barca win the Champions League, absolutely uh, dominating the final, uh, mm -hmm. and, and she was the star woman. But she's still not a household name in women's football, and she, you'd, hard, you'd be hard-pressed in many of the big parts of the world to say Alexia Puteas and get name recognition from an average knowledge of a football fan. Yes, and also the fact, that George, is that her impact on the global sport itself was uh, relatively minuscule. I'm not trying to denigrate her accomplishments, but in the context of what we're looking at here, her performance, winning the Champions League, fine. But where does that where does that rank in terms of what the other athletes on this list have accomplished? She's way down. I don't think she has a shot.
Excellent. All right. So skip Elaine and let's go to Emma McKeown. Now we can put Katie Ledecky with her because both of those ladies battled well at the Olympics. Now, it, it's so funny that Ledecky and McKeown are on this list. And I think perhaps justified. And I was saying to Lance that, hmm, if you see two swords on the Laureus shortlist, it's, it's a soft year beyond Elaine Tom's a hero in, in real terms. Mm -hmm. So those two swimmers, Elaine, both of them at the same, same Olympics were eclipsed by Elaine Thompson Zahira, who had a different kind of interest, a different kind of following, who did things on a scale that those two women, solid and very good as their accomplishments were in Tokyo, they didn't, they, they don't deserve this year, on the strength of the, the, the performance that got them, got them here, they don't deserve to even be in the same book as Elaine Thompson Zahira, because what they did Pale into, into significance when you compare it against what Elaine did in Tokyo. Yeah, well, they both did its part for the course, George. I mean, Ken Ledek is 8 and 15, I think, at the Olympic Games. Yes. You can kind of expect her to do that. But was anything impactful in terms of creating history, in terms of, you know, something extraordinary? No. Similarly, McEwen, four gold medals, two silver, two, I'm um, sorry, two individual medals, 50 and 100, and of course, two relay medals. Oh, huh? I mean, no, nobody came away from Tokyo thinking, boy, Katie Ledecky is blowing the roof off of this thing. Or McEwen, whoa, what a performance. Like a Michael Phelps, for example. Or, you know, Kathy, uh, uh, Evans a few, a few Olympic games ago. No, I don't see where they would be doing anything significant. Overhaul an Olympic record for Elaine Thompson in 1061. Uh, the 2153, the second fastest all time and the fastest in the last 30 years. And of course, the history of it, George, first one to, to duplicate the Olympic double. You know, that, that they fall below her as well. And, you know, I think we mentioned Alison Felix before. It's, I think this is a year, well, tell you what, go back and take your lead. No, 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 you, 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 you're going on fire. You, you, you didn't do anything wrong. Yes, but I wanted sorry. to provoke Lance by saying, I left this one for last, because yes. Lance is, a, is an Aussie at heart when it comes to sports. He, he loves yes. the Aussies because of their fighting spirit. <laughs> and Lance, I think a case, though, yes. stronger, than the, stronger than everybody not named Tom here. a strong case can be made for Ash Barty, because mm -hmm. in a world of women's tennis where it, it is notoriously in flux, uh, I mean, to pick the winner of a women's tennis major is a very difficult undertaking. Yes. these days yes. but Ash Barty she, she's almost like a safe pair of hands now and, and, and you, you trust her to deliver and to perform under pressure I would say that she has a good outside shot what say you I think she will be in the conversation, of course, because of her solid 2021 season. She ended the season as the world number one, as you said, in a landscape where women's tennis at the moment is almost, you know, grabbing some name out of a bag to get a Grand Slam winner. But she was steady enough to cement her place as world number one. But comparatively speaking with Elaine thompson Hira's body of work for 2021, she's a, a, dis, a distant well, second. But well, gentlemen, I, 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 I don't know why, guys. I, I don't understand why Elaine was shaking his head because Leighton, I said everybody not named Tom Sahira, so I wasn't comparing know, Ash Barty to, Barty to Tom Sahira. I was looking I at the rest of the field. Yeah, but can I the thing? Actually, Barty, Barty, Barty is that he comes around in a year when there's a transition going on in women's tennis, huh? There's no longer no Serena Williams, the big names are, are on the way out. And she's among the new, the new era of talent. But she won Wimbledon. She went to the Olympics and got knocked out in the first round. You know, that for me disqualifies her in terms of being the top female athlete for the year. If she had gone to the Olympics and won gold there, maybe she would be in the conversation. But Wimbledon, yes, great accomplishment. Of course, she won the Australian Open just last week. The thing is, uh, I think it was it's based on performances in the last calendar year. Yeah, we and voted yes, before the before Australian Open. Yeah, voting and closed. so what she did was win Wimbledon, which is fantastic. But does that make her extraordinary? I don't think so. All right. Let, let's look at some of the past winners because some interesting names are there. Uh, from 2000, Marion Jones, then Kathy yeah. Freeman. Uh, Jennifer Capriati got it in 2002. Uh, perhaps that one was a little bit of a surprise then. 03, Serena. Then Anika Sorenstam, the Swedish golfer. Uh, Dame Kelly Holmes, she is now. Uh, Britain, uh, track and field. Uh, Yannicka Kostelic. Kostelic. Yelena Isinbayeva once. Uh, Justine Henault, uh, 2008. Isinbayeva again in 2009. Serena Williams finished that decade. And then Lindsey Vaughn. Uh, of course, Winter Olympics is now, so we're talking about a downhill skier. Vivian Sheru, uh, Jessica Ennis, 
Missy Franklin, a swimmer winning it. Jensebe de Barber, Serena again. Simone Biles in 2017, Serena in 2018, Simone in 2019, Simone in 2020, and Naomi last year. The, 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 the point of this list, Leighton, is that there are a few years, a couple of years, where there were hmm, maybe a choice that you'd say, yeah. hmm, she. But, but I, I, look, I'd run. I'd run to Monaco, yeah, barefooted. If Elaine Thompson doesn't win because I had to run barefoot to go and complain late, if that would help her cause. I absolutely agree with you, George. And when you look at those years, for example, when Serena won, a couple of those years, she actually bumped, I mean, she was the person who actually got the better of Shelly and Fraser Price, despite her outstanding performances. So you can understand because Serena, as we know, was in those years multiple, multiple major winners. Huh? Yeah. And she was number one in the world. She yeah. dominated the circuit. Yeah. And so you, you could understand why she got the better of Shelly and Fraser Price in those respective years. Yeah, but Leighton, mm. yeah, Leighton and George, if you even looked at that list, the platform is set for a track and field athlete to win because there's no other competitor or no other sport that is as prolific in winning the Laureate Sports Woman of the Year as those from track and field. So we are accustomed to seeing track and field athletes, especially in Olympic years, rise above their, their rivals. Yes, absolutely. And... That's exactly what Elaine Thompson did this past Olympics. She rose above everyone. In fact, in the conversations globally in international media um, for 2021, and I'm sure you both would, have, would agree with it because I think you probably seen the same programming I watched. It was Carson Barholm and Elaine Thompson here who dominated the conversations coming out of coming out of, of Tokyo, and of course. You know, the, 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 the Michael Johnson said it best in, in the, um, the World Athletics piece today, that what she did this year far surpasses anything. You know, it, she, was outst she actually re returned the world to the conversation of the 100-meter world record that has stood for 30 odd years. 1054 makes her, puts her in that class now, almost a, in fact, a class of one in terms of the, the, the females alive would have done that and done that legally because not even Flo Joe yeah. ran 1054 legally. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, that, that, the, the narrative around what Indian Thompson has accomplished yeah. this year puts her above everyone. Yeah, when, when you have superstars of film and, 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 and music uh, tweeting and talking about your performance at the Olympics, you know you've done well and broken through the clutter. Let's look at the men who've been the sportsman of the year, uh, Laureus, oh. uh, Djokovic, oh, well, the, the, the nominees, Djokovic, Verstappen, Caleb Dressel, the swimmer, Eliud Kipchoge, Robert Lewandowski, and Tom Brady. Quickly, Tom Brady. we have no time. I'm borrowing time. What say you? Who wins this? Boy, it, 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 I think it's going to be between Tom Brady and um, Lewandowski. Possibly Verstappen for winning the Formula One title, breaking Lewis Hamilton's um, hold on the, on the title in controversial fashion, yes. But it was it, he was a talking point of the year. It's going to be, I think the, the who vote on this is going to be really tough because it's a very, very stacked field. And it could be any one of four. I think Kipchoge winning two Olympic marathons, holding the world record, is in the conversation. But I think Paul Lewandowski and Tom Brady have an edge on him this year because yeah. of what they've done. Yeah, yeah. I voted for Lewandowski. That's it, gentlemen. We have more, more time. Have to take the break. Back with more after these. Thank you, Leighton. Take it easy, guys.